Thank you, and good morning. What a wonderful Sunday celebration we are going to have today. Not only will we celebrate our Sunday school students, our youth, but also the teachers and the graduates. So this is a very special Sunday. Thank you so much for joining us. We welcome each of you here and those of you who are at home online today for our Christian Education Sunday. If you are a first time guest, we are glad that you are here this morning. We have a gift for you. Please fill out the yellow welcome card and drop it in the offering plate or give it to an usher. We look forward to getting to know you. Now today, after church, don't you dare go home. We have a wonderful program for the graduates in particular. It's going to be over in Parish Hall. There is going to be food, brunch, and a special surprise dessert, a slideshow, and special presentations to our, our graduates. So you be sure that you stay and attend this special event. Um, May 28th, which is next Sunday, there is a must-see recital by our own Rubina. <laughs> this is a benefit to our church to help for, with the, uh, to replace the historic chimes in our sanctuary. Yeah. <laughs> In, in the bulletin, you can find her beautiful flyer with specific details, and be sure to share it with others. And let me just make a couple extra comments. First of all, as you know, Rabina is going to continue her studies next year at Berkeley, so she will not be with us on a regular basis. This recital is a gift to us, to our church, from Rabina. And it is so special. As, uh, we know she's a wonderful pianist. She's also a fabulous vocalist. And she's going to be singing it along with the help of other fine musicians from the university and other fine uh, instrumentalists as well. And so it's going to be really special. As a matter of fact, we have changed our weekend schedule so that we can be back in time to hear this very special concert. So please be sure to be here to support Rabina and to support our church. Thank you. Uh, the mission for the month is the Association of Faith Communities. That it's called the AFC, and it provides safe places to park, nightly transitional shelter from Santa Cruz to Aptos. It also participates in the shower program and in the dinners for the homeless. And I want, to, as, <laughs> I want to put out a special thank you to all of you who have donated throughout the year to prepare meals for our homeless sponsor, the homeless group that we sponsor. Thank you. And also encourage you to donate to the AFC. A big thank you goes to everyone who brought fun to yesterday's church fun day. I don't know if you've noticed, but our church looks a little shinier today, a little cleaner, and just a little well cared for and loved. So thank you to everyone who helped. Tomorrow at 7 o'clock via Zoom, it will be the last day of the spring Bible study series. Spirit in Life. Um, please join us if you can. The Congregational Church of SoCal congratulates all graduates. If you know someone who is graduating this year, please contact the church via phone or email with your graduate's name and grade so that they can be added to the list in our bulletin. Enjoy today's special service led by our own Reverend Patty and our students, our wonderful students, as we celebrate Christian Education Sunday. Let us show our students that we are proud of them. 
and welcome. Good morning. What a wonderful day to all be here. We have our choir here today. We have all our youth and kids here today. Our teachers are here. Our graduates are here. It's just wonderful. So let us begin with our call to worship, which is responsive. So if you'll turn to your bulletin and share with me. Living God, you are the beginning of our journeys, our guide, and our destination. You do not deny your love to any who seek you. You your Glory be to you, O oh God, who gives us hope and peace throughout our lives. Amen. Let's stand and sing, and Camille will lead us.
Let us pray. Oh, Lord, we know your light is shining on us today. We have felt it in the music. We see it in our beautiful faces all around us, and we see it especially in our youth. And Lord, we thank you for this special Sunday where we can come together as a family, where we can celebrate the joys of moving forward and moving on and sharing the journeys. And so, Lord, Bless all of us, bless our students as they share, bless our teachers as they've come forth and all the work they've done, and bless all of us to care for one another. For we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Please join me in the responsive reading. A good name is to be chosen rather than riches. The rich and the poor have this in common. The reward of humility and fear of the Lord. Train children in the right way.
<laughs> Talk about being lifted up. Thank you, choir. That was beautiful. And now we come to our time of prayer. And because it's Children's Day, I want to do something a little different. I'm going to teach you how to pray with your kids or for your grandkids or let them learn how to pray. Because some people say, well, how do we pray? What should we do? How do we do it? And so this is a way to teach them and for us to think about. So take your hand, because we're going to use our hand. It's a hand prayer. How many of you learned to count on your hand? One, two, three, four, five, and so on. We started that way. So as you have your hand and you put it up, the thumb is always pointing to your heart. The thumb is closest to your heart. So when you pray, when, when you pray with your kids, pray for those that are closest to you, yourself, your family, all of your kids and grandkids, those that are close to you. The second finger is used for pointing, pointing to God, so we open our hearts to God, but also pointing to truth, wherever we find it. So we especially pray for our teachers, our mentors, our pastors, all those that help us in faith and prayer to know the truth. So there's our pointer. The third finger is the tallest. The tallest stands for leaders everywhere. So we pray for those in authority in our church, in our community, in our nation in our world that God will bless them and God will guide them. The fourth finger is the weakest as a pianist will say it says that's a finger that doesn't work so well so let's pray for all those in trouble and in need in pain in, in, in needing healing and helping and all of those things so if you know anybody injured and and sick right now pray for them with that finger. The little finger is the smallest, so it stands for those that go unnoticed. Sometimes it's the kids that go unnoticed. Oftentimes it's our homeless that go unnoticed. Those that are standing aside because they're afraid, they're shy, perhaps they've been abused or neglected. All of those that need extra, extra care, we pray for them. And we, when we had finished with that, you've prayed for all of God's people and God's world everywhere. So let's finish with our prayer. Lord, we thank you for teaching us, for being there to guide us, for holding us up for those that are closest to us, for those that are in leadership to us, that help us to know the truth, our teachers and pastors and all of those others. For those that are in authority, that you would help them to have mercy and compassion and understanding of the whole world. For those who are weakest, Lord, we pray for all of those we know who are in pain and suffering, who need your healing touch and your help. Be with all of them. And Lord, especially be with those that feel neglected, that nobody seems to reach out to, those in the corners of our society, those that feel ashamed, those that have been